Good morning, everybody. This is Deb. I hope you're all having a great week so far. I haven't been on for a while, so I thought I would come on with a quick video to show you what I've been up to and what I've been making. Uh, but first, if you are a subscriber, I want to thank each and every one of you so much, and thank you for your lovely comments on my videos. I do try to respond to each and every one. It may take me a while, but I will respond. So thank you so much. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you like what you see. And if you do, please click the like button. And it would be awesome if you subscribed. So I have a craft show coming up on October 9th. And I have been making uh, some items for that show. Uh, today I just thought I would come on and show some of the fabric sewing items that I'm making. I am still making some of my dog bandanas. In a previous video I showed the Christmas ones that I made. I plan on uh, displaying those at this craft fair. And I made some more. Um, I live in Connecticut and out here we are Husky Nation. I'm a big fan of the Yukon Husky girls basketball team. I know a lot of people don't like them. You either love them or hate them, I think. <laughs> but um, I'm a big fan of theirs. So I made some doggy bandanas with the Yukon logo fabric. And these are, let me try to get these out of the way so you can see what they look like. These are the extra small. Um, this is for a dog with a neck size of 12 to 14 inch. So they're like your miniature, your little chihuahuas and um, dachshunds. And the way these work is the collar or the leash, the collar, I guess you call it, not the leash. You would, you would thread that through this little casing here. My fingers are all in the way, but there's a casing. And it goes around their little neck like that. So it's not tied around or anything which bothers the dog. It's, it's loose on their collar. So those are the extra small 12 to 14 inch neck um, size. These are the smalls, which is a 15 to 16 inch length or uh, measurement around their neck. This would be the medium, which is 17 to 19 inch. And then we have our large, uh, 20 to 22 inch. And then the extra large, which would be like for a sheepdog or something. This is 23 to 26 inch. I'm only going to make these on demand because these take a bit of fabric and um, these, like I say, these are for very, very large dogs. And again, here you can see how the, um, it's a casing where the collar goes through. So those are the Yukon Husky ones. As far as pricing, I believe I'm going to do um, $5.00. And then each size up, it would be an extra dollar. So five, six, uh, seven for the mediums, eight for the large, and nine for the extra large. I was on Etsy and I saw some sample pricing. I think that's reasonable con compared to what I've seen on Etsy. So those are the Yukon band bandanas. Then I did some... Halloween bandanas and these are the extra smalls so let me just it's kind of a, a little cutesy type of not a scary just cute Halloween this is um, well it does have a skull on it but I think it's still a cute bandana and then I have this one Okay, so these are a little bit scary <laughs> with the skulls, but come on, it, it's, it's Halloween. 
Even the dog needs to take a break and be a little scary now and then. And the backs of these are um, just plain black. So if you want to, you could, it's reversible. So if you have a cricket or you know someone who can um, put vinyl on, you can put their name on these. I haven't learned how to do that yet. Um, that's on my list of things to do. So again, I have the, the small, I'm sorry, the extra small, the small, the mediums, and here you can read this, this fabric is really pretty. And then the large. And this one, you can see little cats in the jack-o'-lanterns. So those are my dog bandanas. I'm not sure how I'm going to tag these. I don't own a tagging gun and I wouldn't want to use one anyway because it would make a hole in the fabric. Um, I do have some of these little Avery tags. I thought I would take, I would label it, take a little safety pin and pin a tag on each one. That's my thinking for right now. I was hoping I could find some removable stickers um, for fabric, but I haven't found any of those. So those are the doggy bandanas. I have been also making some, these are little boxy pouches. There is um, a video on YouTube. This woman has a tutorial. I will try to remember to link that below, as well as the tutorial for the dog bandanas. These are, Actually, these are for, uh, you can use them for your doggy poo bags if you wanted to. Um, they're multi-use. So they are each lined. I just put some paper in here to keep their shape, but they are lined. I bought the, the zippers in bulk off of Amazon. And they have a little loop at the top and a little clip. You can clip this onto your pocketbook. Um, I'm having difficulty keeping that open. You can clip that onto your pocketbook or your loop on your waistband. I plan on using one of these at the, the craft show so I don't have to have a pocketbook or anything. I'll just keep my change in here. And um, what I plan on doing is using one of those uh, little wristbands. I should have brought it here with me. Um, hold on, let me go get that. I'm so sorry, I should have been prepared. Hold on. at Claire's in our mall and they usually have sales a half price. I did not pay four dollars for these but these are your little wristbands and I plan on having mine clipped to that so at the craft fair I can have my change right handy and uh, Time you're somewhere where it's it's uh, kind of a hindrance to carry your pocketbook around, like at a fair or something. I think these are perfect for that. But also, if you have a dog and you're walking your dog, is good for the the roll of bags. So I went crazy with these. I have about 50 of these made. I think I'm going to sell these for maybe $5 each. I did a Mickey 
This one is lined in black. Great for the children too. This one is uh, just the rainbow hearts. And I did uh, some in the rainbow. So that's a sample of the little pouches I made. I also made some bowl koozies for the uh, craft fair. And these are the 10 inch bowl koozies. So I did a, a bunch of different colors. And um, being that's fall, I kept with the fall colors most for the most part, but uh, these are the cherries. These are a lot of fun to make. This one is your Harvest Vegetable Fabric. Got this at Hobby Bobby. The fabric I think is really pretty. Hobby Lobby as well with the pumpkin. I think those are striking. These are not, um, I did not make these to be micro microwave safe. I always, um, I'm hesitant, I'm afraid for safety reasons to make anything that is to be stuck in the microwave. So um, if you want to use the microwave, you would put your bowl in the microwave first, heat it up, and when you take the bowl out, put it into your koozie. And then I have the buffalo chuck. Over here I have sunflowers. The donuts. <laughs> and I saw this fabric and I just fell in love with it with the cows. I think these are all the, yeah, this is just all repeat. So those are my bowl koozies. And um, I'm making a bunch of items, um, cards, and other miscellaneous items for the craft fair. This is the bulk of my sewing items, so these, sorry for my reaching in front of the camera. Uh, so the bowl koozies the little pouches, and the dog bandanas. So I hope everyone uh, continues to have a great week. And once again, thank you so much for tuning in. I um, hope to be back shortly with another video, um, possibly to show you some of the other paper items I'm making for the fair. And what I'd like to um, what I'd like to show maybe as a process video as well as to how to make some of the cards uh, with the Karen Berniston dies. So thank you so much. Have a great week. And uh, as always, I appreciate uh, all of you so much. Thank you. Bye.